New York Hall of Science in the middle of Brickfest and with me I have Chad who is the founder of Brickfest Live. Chad, events like Brickfest and playing with Lego teach kids so many important rules about structural engineering, the, the field of building bridges and other structures. What do you think that playing with Lego teaches kids about the very serious business of structural engineering? When you build to scale you always want to start with something small. Right, because you want to start with a small model. You don't want to start with the biggest thing first. So you start with a small model, and then when you want to go bigger in different iterations, you take what you've done with that small model and just make that one a little bit bigger, and make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bit bigger, until you just have something enormous. With loading constraints, we want to make sure that there's symmetry to the build. Right, you can't have one part of the build much bigger than the other or it will topple over, which is what you see in some of the creations. And then kids go back and they make sure that it's balanced to make sure that it can be on display for everyone to see. Bracing is really important because if you have a build and you want it to look a certain way, but it will topple, right, anyway, well you want to create a brace for that. So that's another structure and with Lego, a really cool way to do that is with clear pieces. So you can put make a clear brace that will hold the structure up just the way you want and it won't take away from the model that you created. Kids come in and they play with these bricks and there's stuff going on in their brain and they really don't even understand it yet. But look, we're programming the next innovators, the next engineers, and, and that's what we like to do at these events. Beautiful. Now, Brickfest is running all week at the New York Hall of Science, so come on down with your kids and have a great time.